We certainly live in a dark age. You think, oh boy, 2022 is gonna be the year where everything is changing. Some things may change, but one thing that doesn't change is how shitty of a company Nintendo actually is. As much as I love Nintendo, from their games perspective, I really do not like their business decisions. I think I've made a couple of videos in the past explaining you why I'm not working together with Nintendo anymore, but today is another great example why Nintendo is a piece of Ooh. I don't even want to say it like that because one part of me fucking loves Nintendo but the other part of me as I said it business decision wise is just really disgusted of seeing what is happening you don't even deserve to be on Fuck. go Today's YouTube video is dedicated to a YouTube channel called Gilva Sana, who also has a second YouTube channel called Silver Gunner. Uh, some of you, my dedicated bros, may know his work from watching my streams because his music or his remixes are always in the background of my streams. But yeah, long story short, Gilva Sana, his other channel that has been active for over 11 years, that uploads music from all sorts of video games, that 3,500 strikes from Nintendo. So once again, Nintendo ruining the life of another YouTuber. I mean, yeah, they do have the rights to do it. It may not be 100% legal to upload the music on YouTube, but Nintendo doesn't have a service where they're gonna upload their music anywhere online. Not on the YouTube channel, not on Spotify, not on Apple Music, and the Lingo Balls, whatever service would come into your mind. But that isn't the case. So the only way to actually listen to Nintendo-related music, besides taking your Switch with you and turning on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, is by going on YouTube and rely on YouTube channels like Gilvasana, which as you can see here, is not really amused that this happened. He made a quote tweet about this, saying another Nintendo bra yeah. moment, which definitely is a bra moment. By the way, follow me on Twitter at RealLuigiKids, really much appreciated. But yeah, Gilvasana writes, Hi everyone, after that 1,300 copyright blocks from Nintendo a few days ago, the YouTube channel received another 2,200 blocks today, with likely many more to follow. It's really heartbreaking, my dedicated bros, to see a legendary YouTube channel that has over 5,000 subscribers and over 10,000 videos uploaded, or he actually used to have 10,000 videos uploaded, just gets 3,000 videos taken down. But it's not gonna stop here for sure. If you're gonna scroll down, you can totally see that he's uploaded the Mada soundtrack, Kirby soundtracks, like a lot of Nintendo-related music, okay? And there is like no other possibility to listen to the Nintendo Banger soundtracks than just going on YouTube and looking for Kirby original soundtrack because Nintendo doesn't provide it anywhere. If Nintendo would now create an own Nintendo music channel, then I would totally understand that they, they would take down other YouTubers videos because of re-uploading their content. I mean, once again, it's in the rights to do so but it's still a very, very shady and a big dick move. After all that eSport controversy with the big house, with the Splatoon tournament getting cancelled, with their fucking ass of an online service they actually provide, this is the next big oof moment. And I'm not even talking about the experience that I've made back in the day when I was working together with Nintendo and they just cut the line and decided to not work together with me because hey, I'm playing fan games. So the last eight years ago, you also didn't care at all that I was playing fan games Nintendo. Then out of nowhere, exactly one year ago, you cut ties with me because oh, this YouTube plays Nintendo fan games. Oh shit. If you want to know more about this story and about my experience that I've made with Nintendo the past few years, I will link that video down in the description below my dedicated pros it is truly sad it's truly sad and what a time to live in like the coronavirus alone isn't enough nintendo is gonna hit some of our favorite youtube channels at least gilvasana or silvagana for me is definitely one of my favorites when it comes to nintendo music which i also was using in most of my videos is just probably going to delete his youtube channel which is really sad because he still has a lot of other content on the channel itself but this will all gonna go to waste. 11 years of work just gonna get scrapped from the internet because of one company striking him. This is a Guinness World Record right there, my dedicated bros and brodettes. After thinking about this a lot over the past few days, I've decided at this point it's not really worth it to keep the channel up any longer. I will therefore delete the Gilvasana YouTube channel, or what's left of it, this coming Friday. 
So we got like two more days, my dedicator bros super dads. It's time to go full piracy mode. <laughs> and don't all the music as long as you can. There are many different opinions over what is happening, and that's fine. I can understand pretty much all sides. I know this is disappointing to read for a lot of you, but I hope you can respect my decision to want to move on at this point. I want to thank you for the 11 plus years of support or more if you followed me before this account and many nice messages you shared with me. It's been truly amazing to see the video game music scene grow so much. Please keep supporting the composers and community. I can actually relate why people do react like that because that was my reaction as well when I saw this. Nintendo back at it again. How fucking far-fetched can a company be actually away from its fans? God damn it. If Nintendo would truly care about their fans and not about fucking money, they would actually take their time to improve the goddamn fucking online service instead of taking down videos of YouTubers. Probably only gonna be a matter of days until my content is gonna get removed as well. I hope it's not gonna be the case. I hope YouTube or Google is gonna have my back at this case. But yeah. We truly live in a dark time of dedicated bros and progress. At least as I said it, the Silvagana channel is up, who is also doing a lot of video game remixes which are truly ass whooping. Like, for example, this one, the Banjo and Kazooie one with the Space Jam. Come on, slam music. <laughs> I actually do enjoy those remixes a lot more, to be honest. I'm telling you the way it is. If this YouTube channel also gets taken down by goddamn Nintendo, then I'm truly crying. Because those remixes, those rips are just truly ass whooping. I mean, you think Mario would also walk a thousand miles? 100%. This remix is just slapping. At this point, we can just really pray. If you haven't already, my dedicated bros and brothers, it seems like Gilvasana is about to actually get deleted this Friday. Please make sure to subscribe to Silvagana so we can keep up the amazing remixes. But yeah, it's it's truly sad. I'm disappointed in Nintendo and I don't know. As much as I want to support the company or as much as they actually gave me the best fucking childhood ever, I'm more and more disappointed and my heart it keeps tearing my dedicated bros brothers. It's it's breaking and it's hurting and I'm very, very sorry for Gilvasana that he actually has to go through all this pain. My dedicated Rosa Bordets, those were just my fucking two cents. Nintendo, fix your fucking online services and stop taking down videos. With all that being said, my dedicated bros, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, to rate the video, order the comments, feedback, and we'll see each other in the next video. So watch my dedicated Rosa Bordets, stay awesome, stay safe, and see you, ciao!